it's gotten to the point where as of right now, Russians are dying off as a people, quite literally. Yeah, uh, without the Ukrainians help. <laughs> yeah, that's it's one of the reasons that made the Russians do what they do. So the Russians are dying off to the point where by the, by wow. our projections in U.S. Army Europe. I haven't heard the, anyone say that before. The news media doesn't give people good information at all. It's just all propaganda and virtue signaling. Nobody learns anything. But the Russians are at the point where by the end of this decade, by, by our projections, when I worked as a counterintelligence analyst in U.S. Army Europe for a number of years, up until fairly recently, they're not going to be able to field a military or security forces even half the size of the one they have now. Wow. And the Russians, look at their history and geography. They've been invaded multiple times going back since before Napoleon from the West. So in the Russian mindset, because of their experiences and the fact that they lost 27 million people in World War II, and that cannot help but scar someone, whether they're communist or not. So what that does, they look at that border a certain way. In the Russian mindset, it is an existential threat to the Russian people and the Russian state if they can't somehow control that border. The problem is, in the Russian mindset, to control that border, they've got to have Ukraine, if not just that, parts of Eastern Europe to give themselves strategic depth. It's sure. basically now or never. So when the Russians yeah. were building up in the Ukraine, I was still working in the Balkans. I told them I didn't think the Russians were bluffing. I said, they can't afford to do this and bluff, guys. 